How to Maximize RO Water Flow The reverse osmosis process removes contaminants from water by pushing the water through a semi-permeable membrane with pressure, meaning the RO process is usually on the slow side. Therefore, a pressurized storage tank is sometimes required to supply water from the system on demand. In this video, we will show you different methods to maximize the water flow of a standard non-pump reverse osmosis system. Method number one, replace filters on schedule. Water quality varies from house to house and water filters can clog after using them for a long period. It's recommended to replace filters on schedule or when needed to prevent clogging, which affects the water flow rate and further affects the water production rate. Method number two, pressurize water storage tank. Pressurizing the water storage tank is important to maintaining the reverse osmosis system. It is the key to improving your reverse osmosis system's water flow rate and performance. Before pumping air into the tank, please empty the tank by turning off the feed water adapter and turning on the drinking faucet. A completely empty tank of water will allow for an accurate tank pressure reading. We recommend maintaining the tank pressure at 7 to 10 PSI for common use on standard 3 to 5 gallon water storage tanks. Please replace the tank if it does not hold the air pressure. Method number three, add an extra water storage tank. Adding an extra water storage tank to the reverse osmosis system is another option to increase the water flow. It stores twice the amount of RO water and ensures enough water for a larger family. RO water will dispense from both tanks simultaneously when the faucet is on, which increases the water flow and stability. This method requires purchasing and installing another tank, tank valve, tubing, and fittings to the existing system. More space is also needed for the second tank. Method number four, upgrade drinking water faucet. A typical drinking faucet fits quarter inch tubing. Upgrading the faucet to three eight inch diameter would also increase the water flow. Meanwhile, combining this method with an extra properly pressurized water storage tank added to the system would be the ultimate way to increase water flow on a standard RO system. Please note, this method requires more parts, including a drinking faucet, an extra tank, a 3 8 inch tank valve, fittings, and tubing. Please note, if the incoming water pressure to the system is low or below 45 PSI, consider switching to an RO system with a booster pump or a tankless RO system. If you are still not satisfied with the flow rate of your system or are still having trouble increasing the flow rate, contact us directly. Thank you for watching.